everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alexis, as some of you might know. If you don't know, I'm Alexis. I haven't been on for a little while and I'm sorry about that, but today I'm really excited to bring you a haul that I have accumulated some stuff over a while. I haven't used any of it and some of it I'm not going to show you because it's a little bit too intimate and I don't really want to show that on camera, but um, yeah. Anyway, let's get started. Well, before we do that. How have you guys been? I missed you. Anyway, let's get started. Okay, so first up, I'm going to show you guys what I got from Sephora, which I've never actually bought anything from. Um, I got the Kat Von D Ink uh, Waterproof Liquid Liner, and here is what that looks like right there. I really like it. Um, I'm going to incorporate swatches, so you should see them sometime. Um, I got an official beauty blender, which I might take back because I didn't realize it was $20, <laughs> so it's the nude one. I saw, I think, Tati talk about it, so I was like, oh, I'll give it a whirl, but I don't know if I'm going to use it or not yet, so that's why it's still in the packaging. Um, and then I went to Victoria's Secret. I got a new bra, which I've never had a bra from there. I got the bombshell bra, and I got the matching underwear, and then I got to pick a thing, and I got a free scent, and I got... Sheer Love. It smells very good. I love it. Um, let's see. Next, I have stuff from Sephora. Or not Sephora. I just said stuff from Sephora. Duh. Um, from Ulta. Uh, first off, we'll talk about this. So it's the Lorac Pro Contour Palette. And what's really neat about this is it has a booklet of... Um, like what to do, what not to do, that sort of thing, and I think it's really cool. So I'm gonna maybe reference it, I'm not sure yet. Um, but here's the palette itself. It's very, I love the Lorac packaging. It's very sleek and everything, and I'm pretty sure probably really travel friendly. But here's everything here. And like I said, I will incorporate swatches so you should see them. And I think, I don't know, everything is just really pretty, so. Excited to try that. Well, I've been looking for a new foundation, so I also got a new foundation, and this is from Philosophy, the Take a Deep Breath Cushion Foundation, which is really weird and I'm really nervous to try, but uh, so when you open it up, there's a nice mirror and it comes with a sponge, and then you open it up, and there's the product. And um, the lady also just told me that you just dab the sponge on or whatever you want to use and you know put it all over your face. So I'm really excited to try this out, but also really nervous, and I'll leave a review of some of these stuff if you guys want, and we'll figure it out from there. So there's that. And then I also got a, um, a new powder foundation, and I don't know if any of you guys are familiar with this, but this is really cute. Um, this is Urban Decay's Naked, it's part of the Naked line. And I haven't had anything from Urban Decay either, because I'm I'm new to the like the luxury product world. Well not even is it luxury? I don't know. But there's that. It's really cute. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys what shade I'm in with this. Um in the philosophy, I'm in shade three, and it also has sunscreen in it, so I think that's really cool. And then for Urban Decay, for the naked skin ultra definition powder foundation, I'm in fair neutral. So again, a nice big mirror, it comes with a sponge, applicator, and there's that right there. <laughs> I'm a very pale person, so. I have to get pair, fair, fair pale products, there we go. Oh, and then with the, um, the Lorac contour palette, it comes with a brush, which is right here. Obviously I haven't used it or used anything, but um, it seems pretty nice. I'll let you take it out of the packaging and take a look-see. I mean, if I could figure out how to even open it, I'll just save that for later. Um, lastly, from Ulta, I got the one of the new Lorac blushes from their new spring line, and I got the color Tinge. And first of all, can we talk about the packaging again? Like, there's that color for one. It is so cute, and... 
the packaging is like magnetic. You don't clasp it or anything. It just closes just like that. It's so nice. Um, so next up we have Kohl's, which I bought the Lorac Unzipped Gold Palette. Guys, can we, can we, look at these colors. Like, they are so intense and so beautiful. Let me show you. I don't know if you can see it, but there's that one swatch that I just took. Like, that's insane. I have a bunch of other stuff on me, I'm sorry, but... I'll, like I said, I'll incorporate swatches, and it, they're just so gorgeous, and I love them so much, and I'm so excited to use them! Oh, and that came with um, an eyeshadow primer as well. And then I also got, they didn't have these at Ulta, which I don't know why, but the Lorac um, Illuminating Highlighters, and I got one in the color Daylight, and again, the packaging is just the same as the blushes, and it's very gorgeous and very spring and summery, and it's just beautiful. Um, I got actually a lot of goodies from Kohl's. Um, I got a Meet Matte Hughes, um, a liquid lipstick, there's that, um, not sure what color, committed maybe, that might be it. Um, I got the Cobra Mascara in the Mattifying Face Primer of Lorac, which I already had, but you know doesn't hurt to get more. I also got a Lacoste Parfums makeup bag. Um, and then this isn't a sample, but I got just a new bralette because I needed one. Not a bralette, but a bandeau. And then as another sample, I got a Orly uh, nail polish. I don't, I don't know. It's in a very pretty pink bubble gummy color, but I work with food, so I can't paint my nails, so that's kind of a letdown, but there's that. Um, next up, we'll have American Eagle. And, okay, so I did buy a lot of rings, two of which are on my fingers right now. The rest, I didn't feel like digging out of my bags, but I did get this cute necklace. I don't really own necklaces, so I don't know. I wanted a necklace, and I thought it was cute, so I got it. <laughs> And then I got this really pretty flowy lacy um, tank top for summertime and don't worry to go underneath it I got this really cute top so I'm not completely like nude or anything <laughs> I could get the straps but it's really cute it's not cooperating it's really cute and everything, and it looks really good underneath it. Um, they had these two set up um, on the mannequin, and I just had to get it. So, and then from my clearance rack, I got this shirt that says Moon and Stars. I think it's very cute, and I like wearing it in the summertime. And then I got this shirt, which is good for spring I would say because it's still kind of cold where I am well, one day it's 70 degrees the next day it is bright and shiny one minute and like 30 40 degrees and then literally five to ten minutes later it's blizzard conditions that happened the other day so I don't know what's going on and then the last thing I got was was from Air Apostle and it's just um, a romper because I don't own any and it just looks like this and there's the back and I think it's really cute and fun for summertime and I also got some bracelets which two are on my hand and one's on my ankle and the rest are in the bags but again I didn't feel like digging them out or anything but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this haul and I'm sorry for being gone so long I've just been really busy with everything and 
was feeling kind of lazy, so I didn't make any videos. But like I said, I hope you guys like this, and until next time, stay lovely, stay positive, and be good to each other. Bye!